Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my respect to the Senator, to all the associations present, the organizers, and of course, everyone that's here. My name is Tom Rakosevic. I'm the MPP, the Member of Provincial Parliament for Humber River Black Creek, for which we are now seated and having this event. It is also home to many, many Vietnamese families, of which I'm very proud, and to which many are my friends. Canada's a new country, right? Relative to other places and to other cultures. But if you're Vietnamese, you must be proud of your heritage because it spans thousands of years. I wanted to learn more about your community and so not that long ago, about a year ago, I undertook contributing and writing an article to a local newspaper and I wanted to celebrate and tell the story a little bit, a short article of course, about the Vietnamese people and about the Vietnamese newcomers. Because this is truly a very, very diverse place that we live, especially this community in particular. But although we're neighbors, we often don't know each other's history or how beautiful it can be. And so I got to learn in detail. Uh, in particular, I, I spoke of uh, Dr. Ken Le from the Vietnamese Association of Toronto and his journey and his family's journey here. May his father rest in peace. And so I learned about the terrible sacrifices that many Vietnamese families, well actually all Vietnamese newcomers at that time, had to face how many were lost at sea and how terrible the war was. And so to them I hold in the highest respect. And I was very proud to work with Councillor Anthony Beruza, who is not in town and sends his regards, but he stands with you as well, in fighting to help bring back the freedom flag to the city of Toronto. So it will be risen again and I look forward to being there as I will always be there. And I too respect the flag and I'm so happy that you can uh, fly it here. I also thank the Senator for all his work on the Journey to Freedom Act to continue to teach the story of the Vietnamese people here. I also, thanks to this event, got to learn about the Trung sisters. I never knew that in 1 AD the Vietnamese were able to fight for independence against the Han Dynasty and actually for some years have their own uh, culture, their name and everything once again proud. And so significantly, at a time where everything was very patriarchal, that two sisters could declare themselves queen and for years uh, preside over an independent state of Vietnam. This is an incredible story and I sincerely hope that each and every one of you will continue to talk to your kids, your grandchildren, and that may all your descendants know who they are, know the sacrifices that were made of your people, and never, never, ever forget their culture, their beautiful history, and who they are. I celebrate that. I would like to present a small token of my respect to the Vietnamese Women's Association of Toronto in honor of the Two Sister Commemoration event. As we celebrate the lives of the Trung sisters, let us remember their bravery and self selflessness as they fought to improve the lives of the people of Vietnam. May their legacy and heroism be a testament to the strength and unity that the Vietnamese community still has today and will have forever. Thank you.